suit. My suit has arrived. Guys, are you excited for my suit? We can't wait! Here we go. The big reveal. The big Whoa! We got a Okay, so if you now need to explain to the camera what we're actually doing. Camera. Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, we are hosting the Wonka premiere. And I'm going to get into a really small outfit and then I'm going to stand in the freezing cold for loads of hours. But I'm going to meet some epic people and I'm very excited. And Jane's going to do really awkward things so I just, I'm just nervous. I've got eight hand warmers. How tall do we think Timothy Chalamet is going to be? He's but taller than you. Yeah. So I'm going to do a TikTok for you now. You've got contour in your nose. What are we doing? We're very excited because yeah. we have been invited by Warner Brothers to host the Wonka film premiere Red Carpet. We're putting it live on TikTok, what Warner Brothers are. Hugh Grant, Timothy Chalamet, Rowan Atkinson, Olivia Coleman, I could go on. Tom Davis, all going to be there asking fun questions. It's gonna be great. Let's do that thing. <laughs> this would be the funnest thing ever. Why don't we do more of this then? Well, hire Jamie every day then and give him 10 more holidays. Jamie is hired every day. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not sure I'd like a camera following me every day. Yeah. <laughs> you'd see the real soap and you'd see a lot of. really good for glowy skin. It's like a concealer, but also you can kind of use a foundation and it's good stun. Who brand? Kevin Orkin? Kevin Aquan, yeah. Oh, I said that wrong. This powder, this Charlotte Tilbury setting powder is the best. Like the only one you should use. I use actually Shade Fair, which is pale, but I think it sets under the eyes really nicely. And then, they will happen to be here. This blusher by Rare Beauty. We love this. You're hosting a dinner party with five other guests, dead or alive. Who are you inviting? Okay. Um, Morgan Freeman, always, always, always. Um, Marilyn Monroe. Ooh. Mm. Elvis. Um, um, Nelson Mandela. Guys, give me some help. Okay, don't. Oh, Robert Downing Jr. No, Robert De Niro. Love, love, love. Blake Lively, because she's just a vibe. <laughs> Eva Longoria. How many more have we got? You only need five. Kim Kardashian, you wouldn't have anyone like that? No, you watch Kim Kardashian on reality TV, so I've got, yeah. I know enough about her. Eva Longoria, because I'm obsessed. She, I've had granddad. I just want to ask him to say my Oh my God, okay, fine. I would also have my granddad. I would, okay, well then, that's a whole other route. Yeah. Then I'd have like all my grandparents. <laughs> I wouldn't just have him. I would have my grandfather, who I just, I, he died when I was younger, but he was apparently a hero. I would have Shackleton, the explorer. I would have, um, I would have maybe Oprah Winfrey. Interesting. You know what I mean? Just interview a lot of different people. She's quite a vibe. I'd probably have to have Steve Jobs. And then I would probably get someone for, for jokes, Paul Rudd. If you could get a one-way plane ticket to anywhere, where would it be? I have to live there. I'd probably be Spain because my dad lives there, so at least it feels like home. Because I, I would say Miami or LA, but I don't know any of them. No, yeah, definitely not. So Spain. Oh, one-way plane ticket anywhere. I go to New Zealand. I really want to go to New Zealand. It'd be amazing. What's your favourite app? Instagram. Tinder. <laughs> what, my aura ring? I, I check my aura ring three times a day, the app. I love the aura ring. How do you decompress after a stressful day? How do I decompress after a stressful day? Sit on the floor naked watching NFL. Oh my God, t hot water bottle. Take my clothes off, get into pajamas, makeup off, hot water bottle, food. And like the Kardashians or any crappy reality TV show guys, just get your teeth stuck right into it. Housewives. If you could watch any TV show, only one for the rest of your life. Real Housewives of, of Beverly Hills, it'll be for the rest of my life. I'd choose that. If you could switch lives with someone for one day, who would it be? 
Oh, I think it would so be someone like Verstappen or Lewis Hamilton. No, you don't. Formula One driver <laughs> in a race, yeah. going for it. That would be pretty wicked. Kim Kardashian, a hundred percent. If you made a documentary, what would it be about? And this isn't really to do with me, but what I would like to watch a documentary on would be like the health foods, the health food fads and like the makeups and how it can psychologically affect our minds. Cause you know, all the toxins and stuff and just all the foods that we're like meant to have and we're not meant to have, like what's really good for you and what really works and all of those things. Like whether a boob job really is giving people depression. That's what? what that's is that supposed to be true? Yeah, cause it yeah, creates toxins in you. If I made a documentary, what would it be about? I'd make it all about the menstruation of doing reality TV. So we've seen your free go-to makeup products. Willis, what are your free hair products that you can Ooh. live without? Free go-to products I cannot live without would be this bedhead thickening spray. This is great. This hairspray, El Net, cannot go wrong. And the Orbe Super Shine Lip. Right. What's one piece of advice that changed your life? Trust the process. Oh my God. My God, one piece of advice that changed my life. Um, oh, easy, this too shall pass. For sure. And also wear sandals. We're just gonna try on my suit now. This is... <laughs> Watch out, James. Come on. Imagine if it doesn't fit. Handmade from Clement's Church. I'm not going to be wearing this t-shirt with today. Oh my god. Let's see what people say. The brown are really cool. The brown you, are very on you, but cool. You guys don't get fashion one That little tan turtle is not poking out of those grand shoes. It's not happening. <laughs> you look gorgeous. You look but... gorgeous, but we just can't be wearing those shoes. Has Georgia Con told you this? <laughs> <laughs> oh no. See, he actually means it because he's angry. Little bitch. No, no, no. <laughs> he actually I don't mean that angry. one bit. I'm only kidding, honey bar. Uh, you hear that spiteful little weasel? <laughs> spiteful little scoundrel. Wordless is gonna have to take a clip out of my hair because it's like the worst thing I've ever experienced. So that's that. And we're snatching me in. Willy! I think we can go charge for his hair. You feel you can go tidy? I see the outfit, so. Okay. And look, I have this because we're Walker. Fantastic. Mm. It might be a bit. Ah, I can't breathe. <laughs> Love, no money. All right, that's a it. A little bit of sugar on, on my yes. teeth. Off to go and A little bit of tootsies <laughs> on my neck. Off to host the red carpet Wonka premiere. Let's I'm go. Yeah.